What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to add a required consent box to a form that also contains a link to your privacy policy. So it's just gonna take one line of CSS, uh, that's pretty clever, and uh, I'll show you how to go ahead and set it up. So let's edit the form and edit the form fields, and I'm gonna delete this form field and go ahead and start from scratch. And we wanna add a checkbox to this form. So now we can go to the checkbox and we wanna remove the label um, because this is the title that says checkbox and we only wanna have a description. So if you go to the blog post below this video, you can add the HTML into the description field and then we can get rid of the title. And so then you just have this message, I consent to receive occasional updates, please read our privacy policy. So this is some HTML here that links to the privacy policy. And the structure is we have the page URL for our privacy policy. So update this as needed. If your privacy policy or whatever page you want to link to URL is different. And then you can update the button text here. So it just says privacy policy. You can update that as well. So once you have your message in here, we also want to make this a required field because people shouldn't be able to submit this field uh, unless um, they have the I consent checkbox checked. So next we can go to options and in option one, we're just gonna say I consent and then we can edit and delete option two and then hit done. So now we have our consent box and I will save and exit. And I'm gonna to toggle off this CSS. Go ahead and go to the blog post and paste this CSS into your custom CSS window. But I, I wanna explain how this is working. So basically um, I commented out that CSS and I'll reload the page and then we can see how it looks beforehand. So required fields automatically get this required text here, but because we don't have a title, we don't want the required text to show, which is why I added an asterisk, which also indicates that it's a required field. So because we have this asterisk and we don't have a title, we don't want this to show. So how can we hide it? Well, if we look at the structure of the markup of this form, um, I'll right click and click inspect to pull up my Chrome inspect tools and then let me shrink things down a little bit. So basically uh, we have different fields here and so we can see this field has a class of checkbox which identifies that this type of field in the form is a checkbox and then inside of that checkbox we have a title. And then inside of the title, we have a div that contains a span with a class of required. So this is the required class is kind of our identifier for this required word here. So we wanna give this a display of none. But you might have situations where you have other checkboxes inside of your form that you might not wanna hide the required on. Like for example, if this checkbox up here was also required, I don't wanna just hide the required for all checkbox fields in the form uh, because that would be misleading for people. So um, how can we only hide it for this checkbox? Well, um, if I edit the checkbox that we just added and I give it a title, I'll call it example. So when there is a title, there's more than one span in that div element. So now inside of the title, we have this div element, and now we have two spans in here. We have the title span, and then we have our required span from before. So what our CSS is saying is we're saying inside of a form, look for a field that has a class of checkbox, and then we're gonna look for the element that has required, and if it's the only child, so if it's the only element in there, meaning if there's no span for the title, then hide it give it a display of none. So you can see if I uncomment that, uh, the required is still shown, but if we're now to get rid of the example title text, so I'll edit the form field, go to example, and have this be blank. Now that there's only the required span, it's now hidden because it's the only child in the title. So a pretty clever way to keep the required text for other uh, checkbox elements, but if there's no title and it's required, we're just gonna hide that required text and then you can just manually put an asterisk inside of your description here. And again, update the text and the link 
and the link text as needed. Make sure you have your asterisk here. And now someone must check the I consent checkbox before they can submit the form. And we also have a link to the privacy policy. So I hope this helps. Again, you can get all of the things that you need to set up this consent box in the blog post linked below the video. If you're interested in more Squarespace customization content like this in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.